In case you're just joining us, we bought this boat for $100. We spent almost a year fixing her up, then we took on the Pacific Ocean as we cruised from California to Washington. For the next few weeks, we're exploring the pristine waters of British Columbia, Canada. Make sure to subscribe so you can join us on this all new adventure. All right, it's time to get on the move out of this cool little cove. We got four lines tied to the boat, one on each corner basically. We're gonna start the engines, let them warm up, and then uh, I'll probably be in the dinghy. We'll probably just release all the lines pretty much at once and Sierra will just pull out with the big boat and then I'll just kinda go around collecting them all with the dinghy. Ideally, if we had enough long enough lines, we would have just done a loop around whatever we were tying to, whether in this case they're all trees. Just one big loop around the tree and back to the boat. That way we have both ends on the boat and we could just uncleat one end, release it, and pull in the other end and we wouldn't need the dinghy to retrieve all the lines. But we didn't have enough lines and not long enough lines so I have to go I just had to do a loop around the tree, tie a bowl in, and then uh, and then we tied from there. So that's why I have to go retrieve them with the dinghy. Start the engines. Start her up. There. So I'll release this one and pull it all the way in. You just release that one, let it go. As soon as you do that, go to the bow and just release them both as quickly as you can from each other off the bow and just let them sink. They'll fall down and deep and away from the boat. And I won't run them over? And just pull out straight and know you should be fine. And you'll be okay? Yeah, and then I'm just gonna go collect everything. I won't have to collect this because it'll be on the boat, but I'll collect the other three. How's that sound? And I'm just pulling out and then around, so I'm into it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you do that one when I say. Okay, go ahead. Do the port side first. Port first. All right, just go, just go, never mind. Go.
<laughs> oh, there's shit. That worked out pretty good. How'd it go in here? our most northern point of our adventure and it's time to get Mountain Miss ready to list for sale. So I have created her whole ad and I'm about to press publish. She's a great boat, we love her. She's officially for sale. I don't think I'm emotionally prepared for this. What just happened? We just got an offer on Mountain Mist. Woo! What did they say? The two best days of owning a boat? The we days, haven't sold her yet though, so. The days that. you buy her and the days you sell her. Full asking price. We only showed her twice. The first person said, they loved her. She was in better shape than they expected. They just weren't ready for this big of a boat yet. Second person just looked today. They called about three hours later and offered us full asking price. I don't know if I could let her go. <laughs> this has been one of the best, well, all our boats have been great, but. We love her. I guess all our boats have been our favorite boat, one of our favorites, but this has been such an incredible boat to own. The work was grueling and it's a big boat, so there was a lot of work, but man. Everything came out so good. Everything came out so good. I don't and know if it's like the years of doing it were getting a little better or if like, I don't know, we just tried super hard on this one. Or and what? then just be using it, everything was just, it's so functional. It was so pleasant to use and, so and live on and so comfortable. So yeah, definitely one of our favorite boats for sure. So why are we selling Mountain Mist, you may be asking? Because our catamaran is almost done. Billy's actually flying in a couple days to Vietnam to go step on the boat for the very first time. We should, uh, I'm actually gonna do that before we close. We gotta make sure this boat is actually a real thing before we sell this one. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of stuff going around here, but thanks for being along with us for the ride. on over here. Things are getting real. <laughs> We're packing all of our stuff up. I don't think I'm prepared for this. <laughs> what do you think? Are you sad? <laughs> Hi. I have to pack it all up. Drive it across the country. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> We were wondering what moving off the boat in Washington is like. It's a little bit like this. I feel like we've really come full circle. Do you guys remember what it looked like today from today before we got hauled to do all the work? Now it's our final clean before we get hauled for a service. Same weather. <laughs> <laughs> so 
different jacket. <laughs> You guys, it's snowing! <laughs> Can you see it? Ah! Get it, Jenny! Ah! You have snow on your hood! <laughs> we are so excited to see snow for the third time in your life. Do you want to eat my snowball? Ah, you broke him! Oh boy, just, you know, reorganizing our life in the middle of the parking lot. <laughs> right now we have the little hand launch. Is it called a hand launch? I don't really know what this is called. Going, um, Billy built a little dolly yesterday, so we're going to lift the dinghy out of the water, place it on the dolly, and then hopefully slide it right in here. Are you nervous? No, are you? Terrified. Because what? what if your line breaks and it drops? Use one of these oh god, be careful. Oh, this is very scary. You want to know what this reminds me of? Wow, our bottom's so clean. How are you feeling about your creation? <laughs> Pretty good so far. We'll feel better once we get it in the trailer. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about us going up the little lip on the ramp. You totally found the wheels in the garbage. That's something you're proud of. Yes, proud. We didn't have to pay anything for this. We bought the wood for something else and we just repurposed it. Yeah. Oh god, it's cold. Pushing them along. Okay, hold on. What's our plan? Slow. Like, go fast or? No. Slow. I'll get under it and like lift the front edge up, I think. I don't want you under it. It's alright. Somehow we fit everything in here. We still got space to spare in the truck a little bit. We aren't completely moved out yet, just so you know. But we <laughs> got it in there. Whew. All right. Officially not ours, right? Not quite yet. Okay. No, not quite uh, yet. So there you go. Probably not till tomorrow. Today is our last day on Mountain Mist. Right, Everything is completely packed up in the car slash cargo van jetty is stressing because she's seen suitcases and packing and she doesn't know what's going on um it's cold but it is a beautiful out billy is taking the new owners um up to the slip today are you excited for one last go around uh yeah yeah it's gonna be a beautiful day a little bit chilly but um it's going to be uh, some light wind, I think, and uh, sunny. It's so, so sunny, and it hasn't been sunny in so long, so it'll be so nice. And I would be so jealous, but also so excited if they all saw orcas. So it's a family of four kids and the parents, and we're just super excited. We couldn't have handpicked better people to continue adventuring on her, especially, like, knowing she's going to get a lot of adventures and love and be enjoyed by everybody as you guys know we love board games um so we got him a little gift 
Ticket to Ride, Rails and Sails, if you haven't played it. It's super fun. Our favorite game, and this is like the boat version, and there's like two boards in it. Um, so super fun. And then we have actually been collecting um, guidebooks for them. So got a little stack of guidebooks. So <sighs> tears have been shed. I will not share them with you, but they've been shed all morning and pretty much all week. We love Mountainist. Are you stressed? You guys are free, you're off the dock. <laughs> Bye! Just about a year ago, we stepped on Mountain Mist for the first time. A lot of you told us to run far, far away, but we did the exact opposite. We knew she was going to be the biggest bow we've ever owned and definitely the biggest project we've ever tried to take on. But you all should know by now that we love a good challenge. We made a list of things we knew we needed to get done and we put our heads down and went to work. And that list grew by the day. But we did our very best to divide and conquer in hopes of getting her back in the water as soon as possible. We tried to break the work up in sections and complete each section from start to finish before moving on to the next. Each time we finished a project, it gave us a glimpse of what the rest of the boat could look like and the boost we needed to get going on the next project. The work was tedious, itchy, and sometimes frustrating, but everything was coming out way better than we had hoped. Each project we checked off the list was getting us closer and closer to getting back in the water, and the excitement about the places we could take her kept our spirits up and our bodies moving. We knew she always had potential, but if you showed us this the day we bought her and said this is what she could look like, we probably wouldn't have believed you. From the moment we went under the gate, all the months of painful work were worth it 100 times over. We are so proud of the work we did amazed by the things we saw and are so grateful you came along for the ride. Mountain Miss will forever be one of our favorite boats, and we already miss her. So we just recently sold our $100 boat for Drumroll. So before you go out looking for an old, cheap, but let us just give you a total cost breakdown of exactly what we put into this boat and then you can decide if it's worth it for yourself. 